I think I'm actually gonna say goodbye to all of you. Oh no! I feel very emotionally attached to these dresses. I knew when I bought it that there was a chance I would never wear it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Spring is coming and perhaps a little bit optimistically, I really want to switch over my closet. Well, mostly I want to do a declutter. I feel like there is just stuff in here that I haven't worn that I no longer need, no longer want. I am in that mood where I feel like I can be a little bit more critical of what's in my closet and what needs to come out. Given that I sew now, <laughs> there is a lot of stuff coming in. Even though I've pretty much completely stopped shopping, there is still a lot of clothing coming into my wardrobe. If I'm completely honest, not all of it deserves a spot in here. I'm gonna have to do something a little bit harsh today as well and declutter some of the things that I have made myself. I am also going to bring out my spring and summer clothes that I have um, in the guest room next door just to see if there's anything there that I put away in autumn but I think I could wear now. So that's the second thing I'm gonna do. Remove some of the stuff that is very autumn-y and maybe start bringing in some of the spring stuff. Definitely not summer yet because it is still very cold outside and probably will be for a long time. Have I ever actually even shown you my new wardrobes? There's more. <laughs> These are essentially the same wardrobes that we had in the apartment, just a slightly lower version so we don't have the top shelf. And we've also added a half width one here to store some longer hanging clothes. We'll go through that as well, but let's start with this one right here. Before we move on with decluttering, I wanted to take a little moment to tell you a little bit about today's sponsor. And I'm really excited to tell you about this brand because today's video is sponsored by Holzkern. Holzkern is a brand based out of Vienna, Austria, and they make wooden accessories. Or actually, they make accessories out of natural materials. Wood is the main one, but they also use other natural materials such as stone. And they do incredible stuff with these materials. I'm actually wearing one of their watches. And this is a watch made of walnut. It is absolutely stunning. Let me show you up close. Here you can see it. It looks like a bracelet. It's absolutely stunning. I love the color of this wood. Let me come up even closer. There we go. Isn't this just gorgeous. They have loads of different watches on their website but they also make jewelry with wood and stone, men's and women's jewelry, sunglasses, they do handbags, yes handbags made out of wood and stone which are incredible, really really cool. Their stuff is absolutely gorgeous, definitely worth checking out. Anything from their website would make a fantastic gift. The pieces are really really unique. Holzkern is focused on slowing down and appreciating the beauty of nature. Their wood is sustainably sourced and they work with a bunch of NGOs. You can read up on that on their website. Speaking of their website by the way, I will have a link to their website in the description box below. I do also have a discount code for you guys. If you use code LOOPSY15, you get 15% off of the entire website. Definitely encourage you to go check that out because their stuff is absolutely gorgeous. Now I have partnered up with Holtzcare for the next couple of weeks, so you will hear a little bit more about them from me in upcoming videos. But for now, definitely be sure to check out their website and let's get back to decluttering. So my closet here is kind of sorted by color but also kind of by length because I do have this set of drawers right here that kind of cuts off um, the length I am able to go to. So some of the slightly longer stuff is here and then also really long stuff is in the other closet. First of all, is this sweater. This is my Victorian cycling sweater inspired sweater. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. It's absolutely iconic. I love it. It's also pretty hard to wear in daily life. It is very extra. It's very out there. The sleeves are a lot and whenever I do wear it, I feel like I'm in costume, which is okay sometimes, but not something I'm super comfortable with on a daily basis. I think if the sleeves were slightly smaller, I would be able to wear this a little bit more comfortably. And also, it's coming apart at the shoulder seams here. So this one, I think I need to make a third pile. I need to have a keep. I need to have a get rid of, which means either donate or sell. But I think I should also make a mend pile or altar. That's nice, I'm keeping that. Yep. White sweaters, can never go wrong with those. Definitely keeping more white sweaters. Oh, I can't wait to be able to wear this again. Lovely white floral blouse. 
absolutely gorgeous. Same goes for this one. White blouses and white sweaters are just such a staple. So I don't think I will be getting rid of many here. This blouse, oh, I wish I had five of these. Now this is one of my favorite blouses, but I have an issue with it. The issue is that it is polyester and it makes me smell. <laughs> as soon as a drop of sweat comes out of me, it's just the most horrendous smell. Oh, I don't know. I think I should maybe make a project of this. Sew myself some white blouses this spring just so that I can replace my horrendous polyester ones with nice new ones made out of more natural material. But how do you get a fabric that is light and see-through and not an animal product? So I really prefer not to use silk. I'll have to look into that. For now, I'm gonna give it one more chance and if it turns out that this really is one of those items where the sweat smell is just reactivated by body heat instantly, then I'm getting rid of it. Definitely keeping that. I don't know why I kept this in here because this is definitely not winter wear, but all right. Now this. This I don't think I'm gonna wear in the spring, so that can go into storage. Oh, I don't know what to do with this. It's a very thin kind of like blazer type item. I do find myself reaching for it. But I also am always disappointed when I do put it on. That's the problem with it. It's so thin and flimsy and it doesn't have any shape. I reach for this whenever I need something to go over a slightly more formal outfit. Uh, like when I go to the opera, for example. But I always take it off again because this is just not it. I need to get something that fulfills this purpose, but does it better. Because this is just, yeah, no. No, I'm gonna part with this. That's the first one. Goodbye. I almost got rid of this one in the last one, didn't I? In my last declutter and I... Trying to remember what my reasoning was for keeping it. I think it looked better on me than I expected. I don't know, I feel like this maybe is a good basic item to just have. So I'm gonna hold on to that for now. Like blouse. Also that made of that same kind of like... It's this typical fast fashion blouse material, just that, that kind of like light, no wrinkle polyester, which is, is beautiful to look at, but just makes me so stinky. I'll hold on to this for now, but I'm gonna look into slowly but surely replacing all of those. This is the same thing. It's the same material. This is gonna go into storage. A lovely jacket, but very autumn-y. I feel like anything that's burgundy is just instant autumn in my mind. Same goes for this sweater. Now this, this I will leave in here because I do have some clothes, I think, in my spring and summer wardrobe that go great with this. And I need to wear this more, so I will keep this one out. This one's in the wrong place, but keeping that out, I'm gonna move it to go between the black and the white. It makes much more sense like that. Another one of those blouses. <laughs> <laughs> I do wear this. I do wear it. I need to replace these, but not well, yet. I have two of this pink sweater. One has been washed a lot, one hasn't. <laughs> Absolutely love these. Wear these all the time. Definitely keeping those. And those will definitely take me through um, spring as well, because they're a lighter knit sweater. Now, I think maybe some of these I can slowly start putting into storage now. This is what I wear in every video. It's like a pinkish cream sweater with a turtleneck <laughs> and then a black skirt. It might be time to move on to a new uniform. So I might actually put all of these ones. No, maybe I'll hang on to this one. It's a little bit thinner and no turtleneck. But this one, I think maybe these can go into storage now, just so that I'm not wearing the same thing year round. It's been a couple of months of me only wearing these every single day, so. I'm done with that. It's a new season, time for new clothes. Nice woolly cardigan, leaving that out. That might still come in handy. I hope to be able to wear this soon. It's been too thin to wear during the winter, but I think this will be great with all of my dresses. Same goes for this one, just these like lighter cardigans. I'm really excited to wear those again. Oh yeah, this is another cream dress with a turtleneck. It's gonna go into storage. Now here's the blouse I made. <laughs> And I don't remember what material this was. It might be polyester or maybe viscose or a blend. It's not smelly yet <laughs> and I adore it and I made this and I do wear this all the time by the way. So 
definitely keeping that. This is a blouse I wear when I'm doing house projects. Why was this in my winter wardrobe? Why? Anyway, my lovely, beautiful Mrs. Pomeranz dress, I hope to be able to wear this again soon. This is a lighter sweater and I think this color is much more spring than it is autumn, so I'm leaving this in. This dress is going on the altar pile. I don't know if you remember when I made this, but the shoulders don't fit me right. They are too wide and they slip off of my shoulders. And I do love this dress. I adore this fabric. This is one of the dresses that goes really well with this. Fantastic combination. I find myself not wearing this because of the fit of the shoulders. So I need to alter that. This as well. Future Lucy, please remember, this is not something you wear in winter. I wore this a lot last year on just those really warm summer days when you really can't be bothered. My Mary Quant dress, can't wait to wear this. I'm sure this is gonna be the perfect dress for spring. This is another item I don't know what to do with. I went through a phase where I really wanted to be a blazer girl, but I am just not a blazer girl. I don't know what to do with blazers. I don't know how to style them. They don't really go with my wardrobe. I think the problem I have with this is the fact that it's so straight. It's so long too. What would I wear this with? This is one of those items that I really want to love because I feel like it's really cool. This is my getting rid of pile. This dress, love it. It's true vintage. Um, it's very hard to style. It's short, but very thick and warm fabric. Same goes for this one. Can't wait to wear this again. The dress that started it all. I think this is the first garment I made on YouTube or like the thing that sparked my sewing adventures on YouTube. Keeping that, of course. Oh, I can tell straight away this needs altering because it's missing buttons. And I think when I'm altering, I'm gonna reconsider if I want to keep this at all or maybe repurpose this fabric because out of all the dresses that I have now, I don't think this is the most exciting one. I'll have another think about that one. This to me is early autumn. This is just a very academia, brown and mustard, yellow, checkered um, kind of trench coat dress. Adore it, wear it loads, but not in spring. So that's gonna go into storage. This, I actually wore this again last week on a date with my husband and it was lovely. I believe this is one of those items that I said I have to either wear or get rid of, but I wore it and I loved wearing it. I also repaired the little button that was broken here. This needs to be ironed, <laughs> but I will for sure wear this again once the weather gets a little bit better. Now we have this, which is a more formal dress. I love this dress so much. You have no idea, guys. I wear this whenever I can, when we go out, when I go to the opera, the ballet, out to dinner, Christmas parties, a little bit further towards the back here with my formal dresses. I'm gonna keep this dress, but is it spring or is it autumn? I'll keep this in here, and if a bunch of dresses come out of my storage bin, I might reconsider and put it away for autumn. My Queen's Gambit pinafore, really lovely and warm, but I think I'm gonna count this as an autumn item. This is my other Mrs. Pomeranz dress. This is black wool, but it's also a three-quarter sleeve. I need to uh, steam this, I think, because it's a little wrinkly. I mean, this is great year-round. Can't go wrong with a little black dress. I think it's finally time to say goodbye to this dress. It's a power dress. This is a dress that makes me feel just like, like a businesswoman in like a good way. <laughs> but it also makes me feel like not me and I'm not super comfortable in it. Basically all the situations where I would pull out this one, I can wear this one as well. And this is much more me. I feel much better in this one than I do in this. This one, same story. I don't know, I, I have a bunch of these like bodycon, businessy <laughs> dresses. I guess they reminded me of like the pencil skirt type vintage clothing, but I have come to the conclusion that the pencil skirt type vintage is not my thing. I'm uncomfortable with it. I don't like tight things around my hips. This one is definitely gonna go. I don't like this, this one as much as I do the gray. This is a little play suit. Um, that I'm keeping but this is gonna go into storage and I'm gonna take this out once summer comes around because this is way too cold to wear now. Now here I have some more whoops going out dresses. This is a jumpsuit. You know what this is a much better option also for situations where I would wear a bodycon dress. It's kind of like business casual I guess or it could be a little bit more formal and 
Yeah, it just... Yeah, yeah, this is it. Having realized this, I can just go ahead and get rid of the gray dress as well, because this, I feel more comfortable in as well. It has wide legs. Then I have this dress right here, which I found a while back and I was gonna get rid of it and then I tried it on. I got this years ago, years, years, years. I was a teenager when I bought this because I just, I loved it. It's so fairy-esque. It kind of reminds me vaguely of like the, the selkie cuts. The straplessness combined with the skin tonedness of it and the short length of the skirt made me just be too nervous to wear it. But I put it on and it fits, first of all, which I was not expecting, but it fits and it's so cute. I, this is adorable. So I am for sure going to wear this this summer. So it's going into storage. Will come out once the sun comes out and I will wear this. And then the last dress is this one, which was again, a hand-me-down from a friend, but this is lovely, uh, very flattering dress. Love wearing this, it's floor length. And this is another one of those that I just wear to dinner, to the opera. Sounds like I go to the opera a lot. I do actually go to the opera a lot. I just wish I had something to wear over it when it's a little cold out. Actually, this is too long. For this, I need to go into the next closet, which I'm now ready to move on to. And this in here, oh, there's the rest of my formal wear. Wow, something went wrong there. Okay, let's go through this. We have some outerwear in here as well. Robert's jacket, is this mine? This is a faux leather jacket and I'm getting rid of that. I don't see myself really wearing this anymore. And the faux leather has torn as it always does way sooner than you'd expect. So yeah, that one can go. Ah, <laughs> why did I ever buy these? Although this one, I think I can keep. What I might do is add a little bit of padding to the shoulders, but I do absolutely love the print of this and it's not as flimsy and floppy as the other ones. It is, however, for autumn, so I'm gonna put it away for now. A beige trench coat and a black one, keeping both of those because those are just classic. My fur coat. I uh, sometimes wear this with my formal wear if I am going outside. Problem with this is it's not very warm. It looks super warm and fuzzy, but it's not, which makes it um, very limited. Is this worth keeping or do I get rid of this? I wish it had a different shape around the top, like on the collar. In the situations where I would normally want to wear this, I now have a really nice wool coat that I wear. It's much warmer because it's wool and this is just fake fur with like a very thin lining. I feel like it would be a waste to get rid of this. I'm gonna keep this for the material. And if I ever make something that requires a fur trim, I can use this. So this is gonna go into my fabric stash. We're making a fourth pile. <laughs> this is something you wear when you don't feel great and you're really cool and you just want to bundle up in something. Keeping this. <laughs> but I never wear this in public. I also hung my onesie here, but I kind of feel like this is a waste of space and I should fold this up with the rest of my loungewear. This dress I am keeping but it's gonna go with my autumn wear. I'm freeing up loads of hangers here. My overalls, definitely keeping those, without a doubt. I love these, I wear them a lot. Oh, I think I think these can be a year round thing. I'm gonna put these back. This is a fairly recent addition to my wardrobe. It's a lovely little sweater dress, nice over the knee length. I love wearing this on the weekend when I'm just lounging around the house. This is going into storage or just going away altogether. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. This is one of the first things I made. It's kind of poorly made. The, the fabric isn't the nicest. I don't think this fabric was meant for dresses. This might just be like interior fabric. And it's a little bit uncomfortable. It's scratchy, it's synthetic. I do believe the waistband is a little bit, yeah, it's just, <laughs> the waistband is just exposed gathers. And I can only wear this one or two days out of the year. And on those days, I tend to choose something a little bit more elegant. I used it as decor last year. Do I get rid of the Christmas dress? <sighs> this is the same pattern as this one. And they both have the same skirt as this one. So it's basically three of the same dresses. Out of these three, I definitely wear this one the most. And I, I just, I made these when I didn't know a lot about sewing yet and they're just not the best dresses. And I think I'm actually gonna say goodbye to all of- Oh no! 
I feel very emotionally attached to these dresses, but I have pictures. And I have nicer dresses now that I also made. I might keep this one for the material. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh no, that makes me sad. My Sonne de Flore dress and my apron. I don't need to think about this for a single second. This is by far my most worn item. In fact, I think my other short-sleeved Sonne de Flore dresses can now come out of storage as well. My dirndl. Keeping that linen. Oh, love linen. Okay, now we have more formal wear. This can go into storage. I'm not gonna wear this in spring. I did wear this to the opera. <laughs> then here we have some more formal stuff. We have a jumpsuit, a dress, and another dress. I'm still hoping one of my friends or someone I know gets married and I can finally wear this dress because I have never worn it. It still has the tag on. I knew when I bought it that there was a chance I would never wear it. But I was greedy and I loved it so much that I did buy it. Honestly, looking at it now, I am not sure if someone were to get married that I would wear it. In fact, people did get married and I didn't wear this. I'm just gonna hang on for now. And then the last thing in there is my woolen cloak, which is so heavy and I'm definitely keeping. <laughs> Actually, I just found this on the bottom of the closet. It must have fallen off the hanger. This is a lovely linen skirt that I'm for sure keeping and I can't wait to wear this again. Okay, moving on to the drawers. I found right away this cardigan. When I just started getting into vintage fashion, I thought this would be really cute. There are several issues with it. It's not the right shape. It's a little bit boxy. I would have liked it to be a bit more tight fitting. The second thing is I washed it. <laughs> I washed it with a green garment, leaked a lot of dye in the wash and it has had a green tinge. Since. It's time to say goodbye to this. I think I'm gonna say goodbye to this top. The fit is a telltale sign of how long I've had this. It's from that period where old t-shirts were super wide for some reason. This one is gonna go onto the use for fabric pile because I want to salvage this lovely, lovely crochet that's on the sleeves. I think I could use that for something else. This top. <laughs> This top is vintage. It used to be my mom's when she was younger. This color looks absolutely horrendous on me. This does nothing nothing for me. This is a top that I just can't pull off. I need to let go of this sentimental stuff and just... I'm not gonna wear it anymore. It's okay. Burgundy top. It's gonna go into storage. This tank top is also a hand-me-down. I got this a couple of years ago. I don't think I've actually worn it. When the temperature is right to wear something like this, I would sooner reach for a dress, like a sundress. It's time now to say goodbye to that. Okay, I think we're good on the t-shirt front. Definitely keeping all my sweaters, but some of them can go into storage, such as this fuzzy one. It's definitely more of a midwinter item. I think this, this could be spring. It's nice and pastel. Maybe this one can go into storage now. It's a bit more of a autumn winter item next up i have bottoms i am mostly just dissatisfied with my trousers i need to make different ones what do you have here my overalls definitely keeping those these are my practical pants <laughs> these leggings i completely ruined there's a bit that's like melted because i touched something hot probably a heat gun or something there is paint stains on them and they are completely ripped in the crotch area. This is not gonna work anymore, which is sad because I absolutely love these. They are like these very thick, almost faux fur, like fleece lined leggings. Wonderful, but I, I honestly can't wear these anymore, so they're going. These are cigarette pants. I adore these, but they're not the best quality, unfortunately. I have found the fabric has stretched in bits and the elastic is coming out, which is really not nice and it's noticeable it's also a little bit thin they are just not warm enough i might use these to clone them and make new ones i would really love to have some like beige or cream colored cigarette pants to wear with this sweater for example which i knit i knit this sweater guys <gasps> can you believe it sorry going off topic here but yeah this is my first hand knitted sweater i'm so happy with it my 40s jeans that i made love these i do wear these all the time Definitely gonna hang on to those. These are my wool vintage pants, which I don't think I've worn much this year, surprisingly enough, even though it's been really, really cold. They are super itchy. I think that's the problem with them. They are uncomfortably itchy, so I haven't worn them a lot, but I'm definitely hanging on to those because I do love them. These, oh, oh, I wore these all of the time this winter. 
and I am definitely hanging on to these and I'm gonna leave them in here because these are just wonderful. I made these a few months back. I have an old legging. This needs to go in with my loungewear so I'm gonna toss that over there where my onesie is. Then I have these jeans that I think my friend gave me when we moved and I lost all my clothes. <laughs> Don't think I have a use for these anymore now. So I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna see if she wants them back, but probably not. Um, and if not, I'll just donate them. I'm not gonna wear this anymore. Am I? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. These are going. One more horrendous pair of jeans. These are jeans that I wear to like scouting camps. Jeans that are okay if they get ruined. And I do think I have found myself in need of just one pair of good jeans. This makes me sad because I really, really, really want to love these pants. But no matter what I do, I just can't make them work. They don't look good on me. So I'm gonna let these go. I have altered these to fit me better. They need an iron. <laughs> I do believe this was the problem with them indeed. They are very wrinkly and red. That's also a little bit of an issue. I think I'm gonna give these one more season. And if I haven't worn them this summer, then it's time to let them go. The last drawer is skirts. I don't know how this made its way back into my wardrobe, but um, I don't want to see this. This is something I made um, and I hate it. I just, I absolutely hate it. I'm gonna salvage the buttons in any case, so it's going on my to reuse pile for now. A pencil skirt. I just don't want to deal with that anymore. I think that's everything, so now it's time to actually bring out my spring and summer clothes. But first I should probably make some space though. Um, clear this out. So this is the pile of stuff I'm getting rid of. This is gonna go into storage. This is gonna go in with my loungewear. Right, this is my mend pile, so that's gonna go upstairs to my sewing room. As is this reuse for fabric pile. Move this over. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> this dress. Oh gosh, guys. I'm gonna wear this dress as soon as I get the chance to because this is one of my ultimate favorites. And I'm sure you've seen this many times before. This is my redemption dress, uh, which failed at first and then I re sewed it to something acceptable. And I don't think I ever really wore it, maybe once or twice. I definitely have dresses in my collection that I like more. This is either a seller donate or salvage for parts, but don't think this one's gonna go back. Whoop. Green dress made of beautiful Shwishwe fabric from South Africa. For sure again, I think this one can go into my closet because it's a quite thick fabric. My sun the floor dress with the embroidered collar. Oh, I'm gonna need this when April comes around. I'm always too late. <laughs> I'm always too late getting this one out of storage and then it's King's Day all of a sudden and I haven't unpacked it yet. So yes, my King's Day t-shirt. King's Day in the Netherlands, it's kind of like St. Patrick's Day in Ireland. We all dress up in the same color and drink. It's not what I do, we like to play games with friends, but the orange is mandatory. I think I can put this back in my wardrobe, this lovely hand embroidered folky blouse. There's an ice cream truck outside, as if it's not seven degrees out. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for the guy. Yeah, I think I'm keeping everything else that's in here for now at least. I'll have another look when summer actually comes around. It's time to restock. So let's hang up. Oh yeah, I can. Oh wow, <laughs> there's nothing left in here. <laughs> As I was making room to put away my onesie in my um, chores next door, I came across these. All of my corset tops are in there. This one, as well as my vests. It's now the season where I'm gonna start wearing these a lot more again. So I think, considering how much space I have now, I should probably bring these in here. Because I feel like if I can see them a little bit better, I might wear them more. Maybe not on a hanger though, maybe I should fold them. 
I also came across this one which I made but I think I'm gonna let this go because it's so businessy and I never wear this. I also have my dickies and my faux collars here and these I do think I should probably hang but I might just do all of them on one hanger and just hang them with my blouses so that I remember when I'm looking for a blouse that this could be an option you know there we go so all there's left are my sun the floor dresses which are gonna go in here oh stunning and then the newest addition to my collection oh. 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 I haven't been able to wear this one at all yet but definitely gonna do a photo shoot with it I adore the butterfly sleeves on this and the color just oh perfection love it absolutely love it I think that's it. I think we're done. I must say I'm very happy. Let's take another look here. It's a nice and small collection. I'm actually very happy with that. I do tend to suffer from decision overwhelm or fatigue, if you will, where I open my closet and I'm just like, what do I pick? I always used to be very much a quantity over quality type of person, but as I'm getting older, it's starting to switch. So I think this is where I'm gonna leave you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed uh, coming on this journey with me of decluttering and once again, switching over my wardrobe. I have a pretty sizable actually pile here of clothing that I've decluttered. And this is excluding even the stuff that I'm gonna recycle for fabric. Don't forget to check out Holds Karen. I will have their link in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay updated on all of the other videos I make. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!